Hello everyone, my name is Paul Stetchik. I'm with Northeast Power Systems. I'm staying in front of an 1800 KVAR uh, three-stage harmonic filter bank. This is a one, two, three sequence to it. It's 4.7 tuned uh, and it's destined to a gas plant in West Texas. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about a test that we do on outgoing inspection. It's called an SFRA, which is Sweep Frequency Response Analysis. Commonly, this device uh, or this type of test is conducted on power transformers to determine or to fingerprint the health of the transformer. But we utilize this test set to uh, to confirm the tuning point, and I'll get more into that after. But here we have Jessica Stetchik, and she will talk about the test that we conduct. Hi everyone. Um, so over here is the Frax F150. It's made by Megger. Um, this is the machine that conducts the uh, SFRA. It does a frequency sweep of the uh, harmonic filter bank. Up here, we have uh, the test leads that connect to the overhead bus. They run through uh, the entire unit, and they, uh, they do the, the frequency sweep. And if you come back over to the Megger, um, you get right here to get the tuning point. So as Paul said, it's a 4.7th tuned harmonic filter bank, which is 382 hertz which is that point right there. And uh, after that, we make another test through Excel, and this is what the uh, output outputted report looks like. So, so one of the important things of this test is what we're doing is we're confirming that the tuning point is what was specified, in this case, 4.7. The tuning point is defined by both the reactance of the reactor and the capacitance of the capacitors. So we have two parameters that are, uh, that can, that can, uh, that can be different than what is specified. If either of those two parameters are off, our tuning point changes. So on the outgoing inspection, we're confirming tuning point. We're also able to confirm the resistance of the filter at the tuning point, which is also another important element. Uh, so after it ships, we make these test results available to our customers. And one of the key reasons we do that is that at some point in the future, if the uh, filter bank were to go through some type of failure, if the windings were to shift inside the iron core reactors or the capacitance were to change, we would get a shift in the frequency response of this harmonic filter. So in a sense, we're taking a fingerprint of the harmonic filter at the plant and we make this fingerprint available to you. You can then use the same device, a Frax, uh, what's it, a Frax, F, a Frax 150 Mega, and then confirm that fingerprint at a later date. If it has changed for any reason, you know that something has happened to the harmonic filter. So again, it's another test that's uh, often not conducted by most suppliers of harmonic filters, but NEPSI has felt that this is a very important test in our outgoing inspection, and we conduct this test uh, for that reason. So thank you for watching.